Hello, everyone, and welcome to First Christian Church of Chicago's live stream for Coffee House Worship Night. I'm Caitlin. <laughs> if you don't know me, um, whether you attend here regularly or you're just chiming in from elsewhere, we welcome you. Um, I did not bring coffee. I brought chai tea, which I don't know if that's a crime or not, but we're just going to go with it. <laughs> um, my hope for tonight is that it would be a place of rest, um, a place to worship God and whatever we're feeling right now, whether we're in a place of rejoicing or whether we're in a place of weeping. I myself have been in a place of weeping this whole quarantine season and just season in general just has been very difficult to deal with. Not only with the pandemic and social distancing, but also just family issues, um, battling health issues, mental health issues, um, you know, not necessarily getting to say goodbye and have my final, you know, so long, see you later to all of my college friends and professors. And it's just, there's a lot to be thankful for still, but that doesn't make it any less difficult to deal with. Um, not even just that, but hearing about everything in the news with racial injustice and uh, people being stuck in abusive situations at home and just losing people that I love. It, it's not easy for anybody right now. Uh, even so, um, my hope for tonight is that we will sing some songs together. Um, and if you don't feel like singing, just close your eyes and rest. Um, there's some written prayers that we will be going through together and praying over regarding racial injustice and this pandemic. Um, so with all of that being said, uh, let us begin reading Psalm 13. How long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and day after day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? Look on me and answer, Lord my God, give light to my eyes or I will sleep in death. And my enemy will say, I have overcome him and my foes will rejoice when I fall. But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praise, for he has been good to me. I'll stand. 
clearer till I smell the smoke of faith. And with my hands held high, I scream it in the darkness. So hope is finally louder than the ache. As long as it takes for my heart to find its own. As long as it takes to know I'm still not alone And at the end of the day I'll stand right here and say I know that you love me I know that you love me I know that you love me Here Oh God, we pray for all those in our world who are suffering from injustice because of their race, color, or religion. For those imprisoned, for those working for the relief of oppression, for those who are hounded for speaking the inconvenient truth, for those tempted to violence as a cry against overwhelming hardship, for those deprived of reasonable health and education, for those suffering from hunger and famine, for those too weak to help themselves and have no one else to help them, for the unemployed who cry out for work but do not find it, We pray for any one of our acquaintance who is personally affected by injustice. Forgive us, Lord, if we unwittingly share in the conditions or in a system that perpetuates injustice. Show us how we can serve your children and make your love practical by washing their feet. Amen. One day Jesus said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side of the lake. So they got into a boat and set out. As they sailed, he fell asleep. A squall came down on the lake so that the boat was being swamped and they were in great danger. The disciples went and woke him saying, Master, Master, we're going to drown. He got up and rebuked the wind and the raging waters. The storm subsided, and all was calm. Where is your faith? He asked his disciples. In fear and amazement, they asked one another, Who is this? He commands even the winds and the water, and they obey him. Every 
I want to allow this time now for us to confess whatever is burdening us at this moment, whether it be what's going on in the world right now or even our sin. And so we're going to be taking a moment of silence to do that. And then we will collectively pray together into the next song. O God of grace and mercy, we come before you as an offering. We have fallen short and have sinned against you with our words, our thoughts, and our actions. We are genuinely sorry and repent of these things. Lord, forgive us. Cleanse us from our sins. Renew our thoughts. Rid the wickedness in our hearts and remind us of the satisfying an abundant joy of our salvation found only through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, our Savior. All glory be to you, God. Amen. Hear and receive this truth as an assurance of forgiveness from Romans 8, 33 through 35. Who shall bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? Christ Jesus is the one who died, and more than that, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed is interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? It is not up to us to condemn not to condemn others, and this especially includes condemning ourselves, which we are prone to do every single day. Jesus, who is the man of sorrows, is and forever will be familiar with our pain, our suffering, our grief, and our achings, and even in our joys. So let us be assured that in Christ we are forgiven.
the sick and infected. God, heal and help. Sustain bodies and spirits. Contain the spread of infection. We pray for our vulnerable populations. God, protect our elderly and those suffering from chronic disease. Provide for the poor, especially the uninsured. We pray for the young and the strong. God, give them the necessary caution to keep them from unwittingly spreading this disease. Inspire them to help. We pray for our local, state, and federal governments. God, help our elected officials as they allocate the necessary resources for combating this pandemic. Help them to provide more tests. We pray for our scientific community, leading the charge to understand the disease and communicate its gravity. God, give them knowledge, wisdom, and a persuasive voice. We pray for the media committed to providing up-to-date information. God, help them to communicate with appropriate seriousness without causing panic. We pray for consumers of media looking to be well-informed. God, help us find the most helpful local information to equip us to be good neighbors. Keep us from anxiety and panic and enable us to implement the recommended strategies, even at a cost to ourselves. 
We pray for those with mental health challenges who feel isolated, anxious, and helpless. God, provide them every necessary support. Pray for the homeless, unable to practice the protocols of social distancing in the shelter system. Protect them from disease and provide isolation shelters in every city. We pray for international travelers stuck in foreign countries. God, help them return home safely and quickly. We pray for Christian missionaries throughout the world, especially in areas with high rates of infection. God, provide them with words of hope and equip them to love and serve those around them. We pray for workers in a variety of industries facing layoffs and financial hardship. God, keep them from panic and inspire your church to generously support them. We pray for families with young children at home for the foreseeable future. God, help mothers and fathers to partner together creatively for the care and flourishing of their children. For single mothers and fathers, grow their networks of support. We pray for parents who cannot stay home from work, but must find care for their children. God, present them with creative solutions. We pray for those in need of regular therapies and treatments that must now be postponed. God, Help them to stay patient and positive. We pray for business leaders making difficult decisions that affect the lives of their employees. God, give these women and men wisdom and help them to lead self-sacrificially. We pray for pastors and church leaders faced with the challenges of social distancing. God, Help them to creatively imagine how to pastor their congregants and love their cities well. We pray for college and university students whose courses of study are changing, whose placements are canceled, whose graduation is uncertain. God, show them that while life is uncertain, their trust is in you. We pray for Christians in every neighborhood, community, and city. May your Holy Spirit inspire us to pray, to give, to love, to serve, and to proclaim the gospel, that the name of Jesus Christ might be glorified around the world. Lastly, we pray for frontline health care workers. We thank you for their vocational call to serve us. We also pray, God, keep them safe and healthy. Keep their families safe and healthy. God, help them to be knowledgeable about the diagnosis and treatment of this disease, as well as the changing protocols. God, help them to stay clear-minded in the midst of the surrounding panic. God, deliver them from anxiety for their own loved ones, aging parents, children, spouses, roommates. God, Give them compassion for every patient in their care. God, provide for them financially, especially if they fall ill and are unable to work. God, help Christians in healthcare to exhibit extraordinary peace so that many would ask about the reason for their hope. Give them opportunities to proclaim the gospel. God, we trust that you are good and do good. Teach us to be your faithful people in this time of global crisis. Help us to follow in the footsteps of our faithful shepherd, Jesus, who laid down his life for the sake of love. Glorify his name as you equip us with everything needed for doing your will. Amen.
Thank you all once again for joining this evening. As we close out, I would like to pray Romans 15, 13 over you. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit.